Hey guys, welcome to Stylist 202 Live. I'm here today with Ashley Stark Kenner, <laughs> Creative Director for Star Carpets. We're so thrilled to be able to style you today. Why don't you tell our followers a little bit about your personal style, how you shop, your everyday needs, and your overall vibe that you like to have with your fashion. So I'm a mix between being a mom and a working mom. So I need to be comfortable but look good. I like you know, classic with an edge, that's sort of my style. I have to be in comfortable shoes that still look good. Um, you know, my role is working with textures and colors and I, I like to not be too bright because I get like overwhelmed. And then... Um, Do you have a favorite color? White. <laughs> We like to wear a lot of white. I like to wear do, a lot of white. Do you like your environment to pop? Is that why you wear you know, white? No, or you, you know just what? Like... I think it's being like stimulated all day by all the layers and textures and patterns that I come home and I like. I need. I totally get it. I being in fashion, like, it's like you kind of just need that clean slate yeah. because you're seeing so much every so day. Much. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your everyday life in terms of your career. What is your day to day? So it's life? a total mixed bag because I do so many different things at the company, but a lot of it is um, I work with products that come in that, we, that I designed or that somebody else designed and we pick, you know, it usually comes in like 20 different colors, 20 different patterns, 20 different scales, and then I have to pick the one that I like that I think will be the most saleable, create the line that works together with the colors. So that's a main part of my job. Then it's coming up with new designs, working with designers all day. And working with clients to help them match with designers, and then on the top of it, you know, I work for a family company, so I do a lot with my father. So any of the business meetings, I sit in the accounting meetings, I sit in the planning meetings, the real estate meetings. So my day is really just mixed. And then on top of it, I work on my Instagram, so I'm constantly trying to find inspiration and rooms that I like, and designers are sending me things, and I'm editing through, and I'm editing my site. And how would you define busy. your interior? aesthetic versus your fashion aesthetic? So I kind of think that they're the same. Um, I had was featured in Domino Magazine about seven years ago and they called me the rebel traditionalist and I sort of feel like that's my style. Like it's just a little um, classic with an edge, you know, I'm always in like funky jewelry. My signature style is um, lots of layered vintage turquoise. My, um, when, you, when you say vintage turquoise, is it like Ralph Lauren turquoise? Similar. So my great aunt is actually Iris Atfeld, so from a very young age she's been giving really? me... Really? Yeah. I never knew yeah. that. So she's been giving me lots of turquoise jewelry. And she's been, you know, she, she goes around the world and that's how she kind of got her thing of finding like not expensive, just chunky, like, you know, squash blossoms. So I have a lot of original... That's amazing. Yes, this is in terms of like, I just like to layer it. So that's do, you have, sort of... do you have a favorite jewelry you like to wear? <sighs> um, no, I like to mix. I'm just, I'm not like, I mean, I'm... Well, I see you like to be funky. You have I'm a little bucciolati yeah, on, but then you have like a fun charm necklace. Yeah, I have, yeah, I have a lot. I'm, I'm just totally mixed. I mean, I got the, the bulgari, the bucciolati, and then my earrings were like a cherry, and I, I just have a mix fun. of styles. So that's sort of... My home, my aesthetic with home and fashion are very similar. Would you say you're a casual look by day at the office, or are you more put together? I'm casual. I'm not fancy. I'm not a power suit kind of person. I'm like, like flowy skirts, short, fun, funky skirts with maybe like a little blazer, vintage tee. That's sort of my my stay. And then like redone jeans on the weekend with like a blouse. And then how do you transition your fashion into being a mom? Oh, I change my shoes. <laughs> That's the first thing that I have to do because I'm chasing after two toddlers. So it's more like Gucci loafers or, you know, lower um, heel that's not too high, that's more manageable. What's like your good thing kitten heels then are? Are you into know. that this season? I'm not a big kitten heel person. I'm more into like I got these vintage pair of Gucci clogs that are awesome, sweet, and they're chunky and I can run around. When you say vintage, where did you buy them? Um, they were my mom's from like the 70s original navy suede with the, the gold horse bit. So Very cool. for me that's vintage. I have a lot of her stuff. Tell us a little bit about Star Carpet and your the tradition of your family. So basically um, my grandfather started the company about 78 years ago. My grandmother was a very chic woman and she only flew to Paris to get her clothing. So she did, it was back when you didn't even really have a closet. So it was like she did couture and they switched her whole closet and then she'd do couture in, in the spring. So she got access to a lot of places that back in the, the 20s that people weren't 
going to. They went to China and they brought back the first Aubusson. And my, my grandmother was very, very chic. She had the best taste and all of her friends wanted. Isn't it amazing how grandmothers like I all know. have, that's where the tastemakers were. Dessert. So yeah, so everybody wanted her rugs and my grandfather was a stockbroker, so quit his job and he's like, I have something here. So they started importing Aubusson rugs and my grandfather died actually unexpectedly when he was in his 50s. My father was 18 and he took over the company and there was wow. one showroom. And my father went to night school at NYU and he built the company to almost 22 showrooms. Wow. Yeah. Um, with Where my, are your with showrooms? With my uncle. So we have showrooms everywhere, basically in every major New York, uh, major city across the country. We have one in London, one in Paris, um, LA, Chicago, Boston, uh, San Francisco. Florida, we have three in California. Um, Dallas. Dallas. How often Houston. are you traveling on business? So before I had kids, that was my main job. I was traveling all over the place, going to all the rug shows, and I was going to the mills in Nepal and India and London and Paris. So Amazing. But since I, I've been a little bit more grounded. Since so I've online been. shopping is <laughs> a, a big help for you, considering yes. you're all over the world. Yes. Exactly. How did you pack for those trips? really small. I mean, I was in mills. I mean, when I went to Paris, it was a different story, but when I was going to Nepal and India, I mean, I'm like in a little bag and I'm wearing comfortable clothes and you don't want to look anything too out there because right. you don't want anybody to know who you are or anything like that. So, but when I go to London, I mean, you want to be a little more chic. Yeah, you want to be sh more chic and definitely in heels and better looks and lots of blazers. Do you dress for the location? I feel like a little bit. I mean, not so much. I still am who I am. So it's been amazing to be able to style you today, <laughs> and we're so thrilled to be featuring Ashley Star Kenner on Stylist Petite. Thank you guys, and stay tuned yeah. to some more.